you know people have medical degrees and they all doctors, but you don't know where they was in their class. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They one of the best doctors in the class, or mm -hmm. they one of the bottom, you know what I'm saying, bottom of the burden. So you just know that they PhD. They're not gonna tell you that. I thought they were top of my class and that. So right. I think bedside manners got some things to do with it. It's, I have a lot of things that I have an issue with for going through a lot of it. But I overcome a lot of it now since I've had some. I go when I can. <laughs> I go like once every five years. I go on here once a year. Once a year. <laughs> how long <laughs> how long were you in pain before you actually went and saw a doctor? Mm, about six months. And so why didn't you go like when you first started experiencing it? Uh, I was afraid of how long I would be out of work, uh, how long I would be down, how long I would be laid up. Uh, <laughs> The answer of what I knew was inevitable, though. Talking about hip replacement, what we're trying to talk about. Well, you've had extensive history, <laughs> so <laughs> it you, can, <laughs> you can share from every aspect. <laughs> it doesn't I mean, even matter. I mean, first of all, you know, I don't think you can trust every doctor. I don't think they always have our, our best interests. That have been an African American male. I don't think we get the best interests. They always. To me, it seems like they come with more excuses or they don't find anything. You know, uh, 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 so when I had my heart attack at 31, the, 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 the cardiologist I was going to, his, uh, his uh, assistant was like, uh, stay away from the street drugs because you don't know what's in them. I was like, look, I was in the hospital and I did all this test on me. I could dream over a little. Y'all can see that I have any drugs in my system. Stay away from street drugs. Stay away from street drugs. Wow. Like, so I, they just I, automatically I, assume I automatically you at 31 yeah. are on. Some wow. Drugs because I had a heart attack. Instead of figuring out the problem, they wanted to pick and choose the thing they thought might be. Mm -hmm. Huh? When I was in Alabama, I had a black dog and I liked him because I felt like um. I could relate to him. And I, I didn't feel uncomfortable like discussing my issues. I don't go to the dog at all, I do I had a hernia, it took me six months. I knew I had one. It took me six months to go to the doctor's school. I just don't do neither. Yeah. Right. I don't do neither. I got some going on my wrist right now. I don't know what I'm doing. You're right, you just suffering through it. And you know you need your wrist. Yeah, but like I said, I don't know how long I don't want to be out of work. You know what? That's what I want. I don't want to. I know something wrong with it. I just don't know what. I, I think black true. people, we eat the same food from generation to generation. And some of these foods carry diseases. And we wonder why we all keep getting the same diseases because we eat, we're still eating the same food. That's well, just me. Also, you got to think about it now. It, it's a lot of things that have changed over the years of how, how the FDA uh, uh, really approves certain products. Like they're more lenient uh, on pushing things through now. A lot of things wasn't made with the hormones like it yeah. is now. Remember now, back in the days when our grandparents was coming up, our fathers, our mothers, our uncles, and, and their mothers, their fathers, they grew. Everything was natural. A lot of stuff was naturally grown from the earth. So now, everything now, you know, everything has changed. Everything has changed. Know that when you bust the bottle open. Oh, yeah. this, uh, this, uh, yeah, that can't boot through, yeah. <laughs> that was, that was really yeah.